Hey guys, it's Love Show 551. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we um, freed the last two monkeys who I named John and Peter. And in this episode, we are going to be doing something very epic. We now have all the monkeys. So you know what that means? It's cutscene time! No, actually it means something much more important than that. With the help of all the monkeys that we freed, We will be able to fight the final boss. Isn't that great, guys? This is all the hard work you've gone through. Now you'll be able to get the boss, be able to beat the boss. How rewarding. Okay. This is kind of just like an extreme sort of swing. It's a swing of fate, I, I suppose. Whee! Alright. I can use one more heart. Okay, I need one more. Just to make ends meet, there we go. Alright, let's take on the final boss of the forest temple, shall we? Ooh, I'm all excited now. Man, Link's a diesel. <laughs> if he can pull a door, uh, if he can push a door open like that. Man, Link's a diesel. Who would be able to pull that? Ugh, whatever. Okay, and the final boss's room looks kind of peaceful in a way. With poisonous water. Purple, icky looking water. And maggot bombs standing uh, on logs. One of them standing on a tree stump from what it looks like. Okay, um, rumbling isn't a very good sign. Oh mercy. Oh mercy. I shouldn't be doing this so late at night. <laughs> okay, make the Twilight Parasite Diababa. Okay, basically you need to run around like an idiot aimlessly. So just, yeah, that's the entire goal of the boss fight. Just run around aimlessly like an idiot. Oh wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. Something just occurred to me. No, you don't run around like an idiot. Excuse me. You aim a maggot bomb, or the Diababas, and it swallows it, and it looks like it's going to have indigestion pain for at least 12 hours. Ugh, let's do that again. Wow! Smooth moves, genius. Let's do that again. Oh, that was a close call. Ha, miss me, sucker. Why did I aim it there? Ah, uh, jeez. If it's going like this, I don't... If it's going like this right now, if I'm feeling at the first section of it, dang. Alright, that looks like an incredibly easy boss fight to you, doesn't it? Well, that was only the first phase. Yippee. That was just two sections of Diabala. This is the real Diabala. Dude, breath bent. Okay, this is the actual section of Diababa. Now you need to run around aimlessly like an idiot. Come on. I'm the fresh hero of time and fresh meat. Come on. Sure you haven't eaten them in a millennia. Come on. Don't you want some meat? Come on, Diababa. Aren't you hungry? Oh, come on. Dude. Oh, jeez. Hey! It's King Oof! And look what he's got. Maggot bombs! Yay! Alright, here's where the real fight with Diababa ensues. The trick is the time... Dang it. The trick is to time the um, King of's bombs and throw them at the Well, I did not let go of X. Uh, I hate when the game cheats me out like that. It's crap, man. Alright, here we go. Yeah! 
And now, go wild and crazy at its tongue. Alright, here we go. Now, Diababa will spray this pu pukey crap all over you. At least he'll try to, like that. So you need to avoid it. Dude, he must have ate some bad lunch or something. Human residue, whatever. Okay, let's aim it. Dang! Yeah, screw it. Free bomb! Okay. Uh jeez. Let's try that again. Oh no. Wow, it actually worked. Way to go. Wow, was that it? Okay, there you go, see a Baba! Awesome! Alright, and his eye explodes and turns into a heart container. Will you be the last piece to my heart container? No, I'm joking. Wow, that's a terrible joke one of my friends made up. <laughs> Actually, I had a friend back in second grade, she was obsessed with Lizzie Mazzola, and she had this guy she had a crush on, and she was like, she walked up to him, and like, she's like, will you be the last piece to my heart container? And I could not stop laughing. Seriously, she, she was so sweet. She moved away like seven years ago, poor thing. Well done! That's what I was looking for. That's a few shadow. It's what the light spirit called dark power. Do you remember what that spirit said? About how you had to match the power of the king of shadows? Could it really be so easy? Is this all there is to it? <laughs> There's a total of three few shadows. I think the other light spirits have the rest. If you want to know exactly what a few shadows what few shadows are, well, maybe I'll tell you if you find the other two. I guess you better do your best to find them, huh? <laughs> Slacker. So let's not waste any more time here when we can be looking for the other two. She creates a portal for us. I'll get you out of here. Pick up that heart container. Okay. Let's go do that. We. Their life energy has been increased by one and it's been fully replenished. Yay. We're all done here, guys. Say bye to the forest temple. In case you haven't noticed, you know that symbol on the door? That was actually the symbol on Link's shield back in Ocarina of Time, so I don't know if that's a flashback or callback or whatever. Okay guys, now that Diababa is done, I'll see you in the next part. Bye! Bye.